Hello, Internet. Let's talk about what's in my bag and everything that I can't decide about or that I broke and things that have changed since that other what's in the bag video that's really long and I did only like five, six months ago. Uh, I'm procrastinating right now, so I have a paper with 20% of my grade due tonight. I have three pages of eight. Let's keep going into this. I'll leave procrastinate. Okay, the first stop in my journey of procrastinating everything I have to do today, that is due again at midnight, let's get to the wedges. So if you don't know, my wedge game is absolutely atrocious, and it takes continual hours and hours and hours and hours of persistent training nonstop with no breaks for me to get my wedge game anywhere near decent. I think the biggest compliment I've ever gotten in my life was not going from last in a league to in the top 10. It was not receiving honors in a tournament. It was not being named MVP of a season. No, 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 no. It was last summer when a guy said he learned something from my short game. It was an honor. But yeah, we got the Callaway Jaws Wedge in a 56 with 10 degrees of bounce and the S grind that I'm thinking of replacing for my new, as in bot, Earlier this last month? Yeah, we're in November. Yeah, last month. The Ben Nardi Helix 3.0 in a 56 with the RJ grind in 14 degrees of bounce. I don't know which one is going to do better, and I don't know which one I'll end up liking, but I only carry one wedge in the bag, so they can't both stay. If you'd like to tell me which one should stay, put it in the comments, I guess. Next up is my most complicated part of my bag. My driving irons. See the three of them? And they like two of them have the same number. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Yeah. So I like driving irons. It's one of those things I've always had in my bag. So I've decided to continually have them in my bag over hybrids. I know many people like hybrids, but primarily they're used if you can't really launch it that high. If you can't get a you know an iron, a longer iron in the air that high. I am not a low launch person. I expect my drivers to be at least 130 feet in the air for anything good. I expect my 7-iron to be at 112. If it's not, it's a low shot for me. Okay, so let's get into the specs here. The newest one in the bag is this little guy. The Strixon ZX Mark II Utility 2-iron, 18 degrees, in a recoil shaft that I got stock offline. Honestly, it's a pretty good club. It's got a semi-decent top line, you know. I put it as a, eh, it's, it's, it's a, it, out of the three, it's probably in the middle between them. But it offers a lot of forgiveness and a lot of things. But I don't need it in my bag. I want to try it and see if it fits in my bag. I can't decide. Another one. This one is the second newest, the Mizuno 2 iron from their Fly High Pro series, I guess. Coming in at you at 16.5 degrees, got it second hand off second swing, and replaced the shaft that it came in with a 10 side blue shaft that I'm realizing may not have been the correct one to put it in. But it felt nice at the time. Like, you know, it felt like this shaft, that's, that's a good one. That's one I can work with. The original shaft was right reflex, and it was just like ballooning. And the oldest club in my bag have had this in in my bag probably as long as the irons, if not just a year or two shorter. I give you the Van Hogan three iron. I bent, had it bent back from 18 to 16 degrees. It is in a new hazardous smoke shaft, 90 grams, stiff, and RDX. Of these three clubs, I have no idea which should stay in the bag. And again, I'm gonna be testing it out until I can decide. But the front runners seem to be the Strixon and the Ben Hogan. If you have any suggestions or ways you should, I should be testing them out to see which one works the best. You know, comments. Get in those comments. Send it. Do it. Do do what you're gonna do. Do do the thing. Do do the do, do the do the thing. 
And lastly, before we get into the normal stuff, I wanna bring out my three wood because this thing is gonna be replaced pretty soon. It is a Cobra Speed Zone Big Tour three wood coming in at 12 degrees. Once I brought down the loft, it is now in a new, brand new X stiff 70 gram shaft, hazardous smoke. And I love this club. It's one of my favorite clubs. It's one of those clubs that everyone's like, oh, once you get a club that works for you, once you get this club, it works for you, then you keep it in the back forever. And I want to keep it in the back forever, but I'm stupid and I cracked it. <laughs> I got like this small little cracks that are forming on the edge here. And they're eventually going to get bigger. And they have been getting bigger because it usually just used to be just here. Now it's kind of spread out here and there. It's getting bigger and it's worrying me. I need new three wood soon. So again, any suggestions that work the same and are of course 12 degrees because I like my stuff to be separated by at least three to four degrees. So I will fuse to get anything that's 15 degrees because that does not go with my 20 degree four wood four iron. It doesn't go with my 20 degree four iron that then shifts into my 16 degree three iron, so then it needs to be at 12 degrees, so 13. This is how the world works, people. You need to understand this. Now that we've gone through the boring and complicated stuff, here's the newly boring, complicated stuff, my standard putter. It's the Wilson Arc I-4 putter. Came out in, like, I want to say 2000s. I got it basically brand new because it's still at the plastic on it though the shaft had all the stickers and everything, although they've been worn down from being pulled in and out of my bag now, the grip I did have to replace with this new Golf Bride one. No, it works. Decent look, kind of a Futura Scotty Cameron look. So there you go. Uh, you can't get it. Sorry. I've looked. They all kind of look crappy. Now we look at my irons. This is, of course, if you've seen them online, the Ben Hogan PTX Pro irons. I got them from pitching wedge to four iron. And I'm showing you guys the five iron here because I have all my clubs, since I don't use a five or a six, this one is the most pristine looking. Almost like I haven't ever pulled it out of the bag. No scratches, no dents, barely anywhere or tear. But yeah, I originally got them in the KBS 110. Tor V shafts and had them replaced over the summer with these blacked out Project X loading zone 6.0 shafts. I think they're at like 120. Not completely sure, but literally the instant I got these and I told someone I had those shafts and then they were like, yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's not enough shaft for you. <laughs> but I had them in the bag and I liked them. But now I can hit a seven iron into the green and it doesn't just land in its like divot. <laughs> like I don't launch it up so high and with so much spin, it essentially just plops down, creates a crater and stays in the crater, which is very, you know, important because it's hard to replace those craters. Your ball is in the crater and then you feel bad about to the greenskeepers who had to then, you know, fix your crater. And if Ben Hogan does come back and they bring these clubs back, I highly suggest using these. These things are awesome. Definitely my favorite clubs. And I've also talked about this probably endlessly over the summer when I fixed it, but my Ben Hogan driver is the GS53, which comes in at 445 cc's, a adaptive sleeve thing, lofted from 9 degrees down to, I believe, 8.5 or 8, 8 maybe? eight, seven, something like that. It's lofted down to the lowest loft in at its low neutral setting, which closes or opens the face or does something. I don't know. It's got this tensile white X stiff shaft on it, 65 grams. It's got this grip on it that I need to replace. I have some grips I'm going to replace it with, but I do need to eventually replace the grips either way. I like the club a lot. It works for me. It does everything it needs to. And again, if they bring these clubs back, like if they bring this one back, highly suggest checking it out, especially the GS53 Max, which has carbon fiber on the top and probably doesn't sound as much like a tin can when you miss the middle a ton, like I can often do. 
but don't because I have the smoothest swing on golf. YouTube right now. Yeah. Didn't see me slip out of that. Plus, cool ass head cover. This is cool. This is neat. I like it. Yay. Outside of that, if you have watched the other video about my bag, you will note that everything else is the same. I got this. Was it? Yeah. Voice Caddy SL2 rangefinder with the little GPS thing in the blacked out Darth Vader edition that is only available on Korea's website. Which, of course, if you're watching this, you're most likely not in Korea, but if you are, Check it out. It's kind of, it's a lot better than the white. It's a lot better than the white. Also, I wouldn't get the SL3. It's like moderate changes at the same price. So it's like if you were going to spend money on it, just get the SL2. Like it does everything the same, except like now you have other features that if you're in a tournament, you have to turn off. But okay. Uh, other than that, I have a T for mats, a tool. A singular glove, bunch of miscellaneous golf balls, battery pack, speaker, a uh, secondary launch monitor that I've been trying to sell but can't. Uh, oh, this little pocket adapter so that when I can put my phone in it and videotape myself because my phone's an S23 Ultra, so it's pretty big and wide. That's cool. It has a pen. Can't say that about an iPhone. Oh, uh, that got a umbrella. Lost my towel at Don Valley. Got one, two extra shafts for both three wood and driver. And yeah, that's all that's in my bag of current. Oh. Uh, Thank you for watching me pro completely procrastinate my work that I have to do. And, you know, like and subscribe, I guess. I don't know what this video is going to be. I don't know. If you'll like it. But I think I've shown exactly what I am capable as of. As you know, I don't think I'm going to do very well in this paper. Read the book. I did the thing. It's really boring. I don't like it. But yeah. Like and subscribe. My name's Simone, or you can call me Chaos. This is Chaotic Golf Legs. What's in my bag? Have a nice day.